Hi, I'm Kim. And I'm Maggie. I'm Maggie's stepmom, and also going to be your new Sunday school teacher. Yay! Yay! And I'm excited to get to learn and play and discover God in new ways together in this next season. So we, I know that we're both new-ish to the community, and so we thought we'd get to share a little bit more about ourselves so that we can get to know one another better. Yay. You all can call me Miss Kim, but I also have a nickname, Kimchi, because my last name is Chin, and so Kim and Chin put together is Kimchi. And my birthday is November 15th, 1990, so that makes me 30 years old. Oh my gosh. And by day, I'm a therapist, which, for those of you that don't know, it's just someone that helps talk to people about their feelings. And I have the zodiac animal, or my zodiac animal is the horse. My favorite food is curry. And some hobbies I have are drawing, hiking, reading. And a fun fact is I like naps and cozy sweaters. My name is Magdalene Rose, but you can call me Maggie or Max. I was born on... I was born on September 22nd, 2009, and I'm 11 years old. Uh, oh, I'm in fifth grade, and my and the zodiac animal I I have is an ox. Oh, my my favorite food is mochi, and and two hobbies that, that I do is play video games, of which includes Splatoon and, and Among Us, and and the other is drawing. Fun fact. I am Cuban, Mexican, and Black. Maggie and I got to share a bit about ourselves, and I'd love to learn a little bit more about you. Feel free to have your parents or grandparents help you send either an email to me, or you can make a brief video sharing your name, and if you have a nickname, your birthday, favorite foods, a hobby, or fun fact, or anything else you'd like me to know about yourself. You can send your message or video to office at utemple.org. If you're sending a video, you might want to upload to Google Drive first and share that way. And you're welcome to include a fun photo of yourself as well. So February is Black History Month, and I thought it'd be interesting to hear Maggie's thoughts on what do you think is the reason why it's important to celebrate Black History Month? Um, why do you think that why it's important to, to celebrate Black History Month is because that uh, is because uh, so we can celebrate uh, the good things that 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 Black people um did in history. Yeah, that's true. So we want to honor these people that did really positive changes for us in terms of giving more love or justice in our society and made more rights and um, did really positive changes for us today that we can thank them for. So that's really good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I want to share a really important book in our family called Holy Troublemakers and Unconventional Saints by Deneen Ackers. And this book has stories of people of faith working for more love and justice in their corners of the world, even if it means rocking some of their religious boats. And so this book has stories of women, LGBTQ people, people of color, indigenous people, etc. But today I'm just going to highlight three black people of faith that have made major positive changes in our history. This is Bayard Rustin. He worked very closely with Martin Luther King Jr. to get black people and all of us more rights and freedoms in America. He's not as well known as MLK Jr. because he was a gay man, and that was even less accepted back then. He was a person of faith and part of the Quaker Church. Bayard Rustin is beautifully made in the image of God and has made a big difference in our world, so we're thankful for him today. This is Harriet Tubman, another important black person of faith, and she helped free black people from slavery in her work on the Underground Railroad, which was a secret network of safe houses, pathways, etc. to help get people to the north where there was freedom. On these dangerous journeys, she would often sing spiritual songs that were inspired by the Bible 
and tell of Moses leading the Jewish people out of slavery with God's help. That's why some people today may even nickname her Moses. This is Reverend Will Gaffney. She's alive today, and she's a priest, teacher, author, etc. She helps students and church people think about how God can be seen as feminine and uses the pronouns she and her. We often forget the Bible sometimes talks about God as a woman or a girl, and we limit ourselves if we only see God as a male or a boy. Reverend Gaffney helps remind us that the image of God is in all genders. Now that we've gotten a chance to hear about three different black people, particularly in the faith community, I'm curious to hear if there's anyone you've heard about or learned about in school. Um, was there a black person that made a difference in history that I haven't mentioned? Was, it, was there someone that you know that made a big difference in history? What did they do? What were they famous for? I encourage you to talk with your families or your grandparents and see if they can name anyone that you don't know about and have a continue this conversation to celebrate more black people that have done so many great things for us in America and even in our larger world. Well, thanks so much for watching guys. It was really fun making this video and feel free to leave a little comment in the Facebook video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what um, how you experience this Sunday school time and check back next month for a new video from us and we look forward to seeing you then. Bye! Bye!